Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas realtor with Signature Real Estate Group. And today we're here at Marble Mesa by Richmond American Homes, located out here in Lake Las Vegas. Have a look around. Take a look at this huge rock right by the models. Now we're out here in Lake Las Vegas, pretty far up Galleria Boulevard. If you know Lake Las Vegas, we're right by Del Webb. You got Blue Heron. Now this community is special. It's kind of carved into the hillside. If you drive around the community, it's got some nice up and downs. Now here at Marble Mesa, they're gonna be featuring four floor plans. You're gonna have the Anika, the Arabelle, the Avalon, and the Sarah. And today we're gonna to be featuring the Sarah model. It's a three bedroom, two bath with a two bay garage. 2,150 square feet. Today's starting price starts at $563,950. Let's take a closer look. Now here in the front, the paver stones do come included. One of my favorite upgrades to do is this eight foot garage door. And this one's gorgeous in the modern variety. I think it definitely helps, especially if you got big trucks to get in. On the side, looks like we have our 200 amp panel water meter all set up and one thing cool about these richmonds is they have this outdoor living this outdoor courtyard included also comes with the outdoor covered patio included and then you can option it up to make it even larger look at the views out here it's currently about 99 degrees we're gonna be having a high of 102 today 14 mile an hour winds and we're about 1652 feet above sea level out here in lake las vegas Let's take a look at the Sarah. Got the nice inviting covered porch to keep you out of the rain. Let's head inside. Now the first thing I notice is the smell. It smells great. Welcome to the Sarah. Here's your entryway. We are looking at upgraded 10 foot ceilings. We do have some front rooms here. And let's flip it around. This is definitely one of the customer favorites. You have your living room, your dining, and your kitchen all blended together. Beautiful upgrades in this model. I was super excited to come see this Sarah and see how they designed it. Now coming into the kitchen, does look like they added some extra cabinetry here on the side, extra bank. Get that backsplash. I haven't seen that one before. Loving this window as well. If we take a look at the tops, we do have a ice quartz. One and a half inch on the edge. And look at these large brass pools. Got the dovetail construction under mount glides. No soft clothes on these. Does look like painted cabinetry on these. And we come down below, these are shaker style, but these are an upgraded variety. Now let's look at this kitchen. It's got cabinetry, four days, three pendant lights, three pre-wires, multiple LEDs. Looks like a six pack of lights over the kitchen. One is out. And your island, Amerisink stainless steel undermount. It's got the low threshold divide on it. Look at this hardware, isn't that rustic? It's got the bolt on there and everything looks so classic. Got your air gap on top too. You will have options to put your garbage disposal switch as well. And this is a great one, cafe series, multiple controls, love the look. Let's go ahead and spin it around on this side. Cafe range, six burner. She's a beauty. Now we are cooking. Looks like we have the cafe vent hood right above as well. Very modern in design. LEDs. All the switches are on here, you can barely see them. Looks like they added one of the options here to do the uh, spice rack. Pretty cool, especially if you do a lot of cooking. 
soon as I saw the corner door, I knew what it was for. I'm going to fold it back. Whoop. Looks like we got to get it straight before we fold it back. And then let's go ahead and shut it. Got more pullouts here. So these are definitely nice options. I, in my home, I've never really had too many pullouts, but I can imagine backing it up. We've got the built-in oven, built-in microwave, all cap A. So this is definitely higher up level on your upgrades for your appliances. And look at this cafe. She is gorgeous. As we walk out of the kitchen, I want to tell you about some of the upgrades you can do. You can do this 12 foot center meat slide, beautiful option. Standard comes with a window. You also have options to extend the rear as well. Now you can also do the upgraded covered patio number two, which it looks like they've done. Covered patio number two pulls the covered patio all the way across completely. You do get a patio cover included that comes right above this uh, slider here. And look at the stonework. I love the way they do their stone exteriors out here in Lake Las Vegas. Every community has a little bit different stonework. Got your outdoor fire pit, artificial turf. So yeah, definitely I think a good option to do if you like that covered patio is to do that extended one. I think it it does run up there just a little bit on the cost. I think it was like 8000 last I checked. I'll have to double check. Here's your fire pit. Quick peek here on the side. Looks about a little over 10 foot uh, width between the two homes here. Six foot wall. Now a little bit about Marble Mesa. They have a total of 84 home sites. They've sold about 32. They've closed on their first nine so far out here. Now lot premiums currently are going to be going for about 65,000 up to 115,000. Look at the terrain out here. Such a wild feeling being carved into the mountain. Now lot sizes are going to be ranging about 5,500. There is HOA is $248 per month with a $74 lid per month with an estimated payoff around 11,000. No park, no gate, but build time out here is currently about six and a half months from dirt. They do have a couple pre-plotted home sites, which are kind of like specs where they choose the structural options. Now, if you haven't noticed this market, they are doing incentives. We got 20,000 currently for the design studio from the builder. And then if you use their in-house lender, you'll get another 3% towards your closing cost. And that is what is going on. The market is shifting. We're gonna be seeing lots of incentives. Maybe we'll even see the uh, lot premiums go away at one point. We'll have to see how, how hard the shift happens. Before we leave the back, I wanted to show you this grill, the bull grill. Are you gonna do a built-in in your backyard? I love the idea. Outdoor cooking. All right, let's head back in. Looks like we have two LEDs over the dining. They did add a six pack over the great room as well. These are optional lights. Got the pre-wire, fire sprinkler, stereo speakers because she's a model. Now we also have options for the fireplace. Take a look here. Now before we look at the primary right in the rear, where are those cookies? Did they leave any? Great size pantry. I've always loved the size of the pantry on the Sarah. Now if we slide over right next door, we have our optional den, or this is the den. You can turn into optional bedroom number four with bath number three. So if you are looking for those three full bathrooms, you can definitely upgrade this one. They've upgraded the flooring throughout, going across the grain. On these wide homes, they like to pull them across. I still would go with the flow, so I would be going this way with the tile. Beautiful five inch baseboard. Looks like skip trawl texture. And look at some of these switches. They got some dimmer switches, fan switches. I like the Lutrons. Whole home automation. They've also added some can lights and the pre-wire for the fan. Now here's your included half bath. Again, if you upgrade to this fourth bedroom, this will turn into a full bath. 
full spread on the hardware, four inch backsplash, ice courts, and look at the size of those pools. Beautifully done bath. They've got wallpaper throughout. And look at these upgraded lights. Pretty nice. I do want to mention that they upgraded to the eight foot doors. So it's very minimal upgrade charge to go eight foot. I would definitely do it. And these are the six panel doors. Garage currently locked. Got our coat closet. And take a look at this hardware package. Definitely the modern variety. Just thinking about the options, they probably put about 100,000 in this home. All right, so we have our secondaries. Let's go take a look at that primary suite. Right in the rear, behind the fireplace. And here's the owner's bedroom, 20 by 14 two. Great size, four LEDs with the fan and light. Room for days. And welcome home to Lake Las Vegas. Currently 99 degrees out there. This area is very cool. You're definitely carved up into the mountain. And when you're coming into Lake Las Vegas, it's definitely that resort style feel. It's like you're getting out of town. Now here's the primary bath and this is what I came for. If I had to do one option, it would be the luxury shower. Runs about 10 to 11,000 before you start getting crazy with the tile work. Beautiful. I do like this glass is fully sealed on it. Take a look at that on this side. It's always gonna have an opening though. The glass door is optional as well. Believe it or not, it doesn't come with the door, but when you do do the luxury shower, you get these beautiful modern windows. It's worth it. Now these are porcelain. 12 by 24, they are shiny. Got the dark gold hardware with the rain shower. Two LEDs. I like having the, very important, make sure they put your handles close by. And where's that towel rack now that we're thinking about it? Looks like they got the bench seat here as a makeshift towel rack. And look at this. I just love seeing how they design these models. Now here is the walk-in closet. And did I show you the shoe rack? That is just amazing. We all need more room for our shoes, that's for sure. Now if we flip it over here on the shower side, here's our vanity. Dual sinks, undermounts. It's got that great cabinetry with the gold pools from the kitchen. And here is the bath. All right, so that's our owner's suite. And right before we leave, you got your washroom. Nice and convenient. Washer dryer are optional. It does have the upgraded hexagon tiles on the floor. I like the way they do the baths and the closets and, excuse me, I love the way they do the baths and the washrooms for their tile work. Storage for days. I don't know what it is. The more storage, the more I'm in love. And I do want to mention these upper cabinets are optional. Got your smart box for your router and ethernet and coax. All your smart controls, you can pop them in there. Now let's head right to the front. So we've seen the optional bedroom, the den to the right, and then coming through nice and secluded. This is bedroom number two, 11 six by 10 two. Look at the views out that window. Beautiful. Those are also Richmond Americans, the two stories right behind, different community. They got some nice views sitting up there on the top. You really just cut out through this whole hill, this whole mountainside. Pretty impressive. Welcome to Lake Las Vegas. Now this room has an amazing feel too. Right in the front, too. Being out here in Lake Las Vegas totally changes everything. Because when you look out your window, it's different. Tiles pulled throughout it. They also did upgrade the carpet as well. Show you there. Upgraded tub and shower. It's kind of pop out a little bit. Nice light grout. I like it. Looks clean. We 
slide over. Here's bedroom number three, 10 one by 11 six. Again, the 10 foot ceilings just open it up, give you lots of volume. I mean, 10 by 11 and a half isn't too bad, right? But it still has a good feel with the high ceilings. Eight foot doors, very grand. Right across the street, they have a uh, Del Webb, Lake Las Vegas. You also got some Blue Heron custom homes. This is called Amber Rock by Richmond American. And then we come out to the right and here is your entryway. Well, what do you guys think? This is the Sarah model here. Marble Mesa by Richmond American Homes in Lake Las Vegas. It is beautiful out here. I mean, this, like if you drive up the street and you're cutting through, like it's like you're cutting through the canyon, lots of multiple elevations. It's gorgeous. If you'd like any more information, give me a call anytime. And if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.